Ah. All right. First vlog in the new studio. Uh, everything's going great. Um, yeah, new location. We're gonna be here for rocking for a minute until we go into the next and best greater thing than this. But this is gonna be the new look, you know, the intro of the video. So you guys, welcome to Poseidon Sound Recording Studio out here in Oakland, California. Um, so gonna get straight back into it like you know normal swing of things today. I'm gonna be going over um, Some new a new piece of equipment that I picked up. Um, I picked up a new microphone um, You guys can see that uh, New gear day. It's always a good day. So I picked up the manly cardioid reference uh, microphone um, you guys probably have seen a lot of people record, record with this one, probably heard a little something in it. And if you have it, I'm going to be doing a little quick review right now. Um, and then after I review it, I'm actually going to go set it up and I'll probably come back with another video of just some examples um, of some recordings that I got with the mic. So let's get straight back into the swing of these things. Poseidon Sounds, a.k.a. Koi D the Great. Um, and we're back at it. So let's get straight into this review. All right, so again, you guys, this is the case, right? Um, the case is supposed to be waterproof, which is amazing. Um, you know, Manly, if anybody knows anything about Manly, it's made in Chino, California, I believe it is. All their products are handmade. Um, it's ran by, uh, I think her name is Eve Ann or Eva Ann Manly. Um, so the quality products all made here in the USA you know their Vox Box I have my friend over at Oscillation Studios Frequency Exclusives he has their um, Manly Massive Passive so they make a whole bunch of um, audio professional uh, grade audio equipment for recordings um, so let's go ahead and pop this thing open um, already great quality case here Let's take a look. We got the user's manual, actual microphone, a couple of cords, and the power source. So I'm just gonna take these out. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the mic first. Really, 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 really like this um, design, um, especially with the shock mount that's built into it um, already. So you don't have to grab a shock mount. Um, and I also love this little sleeve to keep the capsule uh, protected from things like dust and dirt, grime, whatever it is. Um, and just protection, the coating, at least on the top of the capsule. Manly Cardioid Reference. Microphone. Um, it has a little pad of uh, switch where you can uh, drop the gain by negative 10 decibel right there. Um, and then these rubber bands that come on the shock mount, uh, I believe they also included some replacement rubber bands as well. Replacement bands if I ever need to change out these on the shock, uh, shock mount. So that's kind of cool. Um, again, this is going to be a tube based microphone. Um, so this has an actual tube in it um, that helps to bring, uh, give it that certain characteristic. Um, I believe the Manly's are reference, uh, Manly Cardioid reference specifically is uh, supposed to be a modern U47 um, design um, with this one. So take it for what that is, um, modern U47 um, type of sound that you're supposed to get from this. Uh, so nice job, Manly. Uh, quality, of course, is there. And then it's going to be cord for the power supply. So it has its own power supply with most tube condenser microphones that have a um, their own separate power supply, at least the older ones, vintage ones. This one, I believe, came out in the early 90s. The Manly Cardioid reference from what I uh, read online, it came out in the early 90s. So they had an external power source back then for these things. It has a proprietary system in terms of their 
XLR cable. This is a six pin SLR cable, at least going into the box. And then it has a standard three pin um, coming out of it. So it's a proprietary system in terms of the cable. And then also because my booth is kind of far away from my actual outboard gear and my preamp you guys can see this is going to be the six pin XLR connector that comes that goes into the cardioid reference mic so it's not a standard um, what we would see most on most microphones these days with the three pin this is going to be the six pin and I like that they included um, I don't know how many feet this is probably it's like 25 feet um, 30 or something like that but I like that they included a long cord so that's perfect because I need it um, the way that I actually route my um, cord from my uh, whisper room to my actual outboard gear, my outboard preamp. So included enough wire, I think for most people purposes this, this will be enough. Um, and then the actual power cable for the power box. So yeah, nothing um, too crazy with this review. I am going to go ahead and set this thing up now. Um, Oh, um, this comes with a little, uh, I'll take it out for you guys, swivel, so you can uh, adjust this swivel adjuster, you can use this on the mic stand, you can pop this on the mic so you have a little swivel adjustment on this one, so it comes with that. And then the manual. And yeah, I can tell on the back I was right, it's uh, made, handmade in Chino, California. So, just a quick review, you guys. I'm going to get uh, two hooking this microphone up so we can get it rocking and rolling. Depending on how it sounds, this is probably going to be my actual main mic for vocals. I have the tail number 103. I had the 103 because it's what I've always used when I started making music and it's what I'm used to. So I just wanted to try something else. From when I read my reviews on this, um, at least in terms of hip hop, a lot of people like this mic. So I will be probably using this as my default mic for recording vocals. And again, um, any good audio engineer is going to, based on, you know, work with what they have. If you have a collection of mics, you're going to try to make a recommendation to your client based on what will probably sound best for their voice. So I think the Manly is going to be sufficient for most of the people that I record. Um, if not, we'll try out different mics um, in the future or try out the TLM 103 because I always have the 103 to go to. So I'm happy I did get another mic though. Just adding to the collection and uh, keep growing. That's what we do in 2022. We keep growing. New studio, new equipment, new success. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and hook this mic up. I'll probably come back with, with another video with some actual vocals. So that's a. Uh, Let's get straight to that. Appreciate it. I uh, appreciate you guys can like, subscribe, follow the channel. We've been growing. I um, appreciate all the views. I've been getting constant, steady views every week now, um, which is amazing. And I appreciate you guys. And let's just keep going this year. Uh, everybody growing. Let's get it.